Jelly with Jay here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Squishmallow Monopoly, the collector's edition Squishmallow Monopoly. Um, and if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe, and then start an unboxing. So, I definitely like a, a Monopoly, and this is Squishmallow Monopoly. So it has a exclusive Cam the Cat inside there that looks like Mr. Monopoly. We'll check that out in a second. Maybe if you look at the back. On the side is a bunch of Squishmallow characters, and it just said Monopoly. And, um, if you look over here, it said, okay, this is the board. It has all the stuff on the back. And these are all the, uh, like, the pieces that you can get. You can get, uh, okay, you can get a Cam silhouette. You can get a Feeling Mallow one. Headphones, a rainbow, a sunglasses, and a hand tag. I got two with a Cam silhouette instead of the rainbow. You're supposed to get all six of them, but... It doesn't matter. <clears throat> so, let's start opening this. Um, right. So today I'm going to be showing you how to play and set up. Okay. So this is what you first see. You have the money over there, the instructions, the board, and Cam the Cat. So if you open, this is Cam the Cat, uh, the exclusive Monopoly edition. And he's like dressed up as Mr. Monopoly because he has like a top hat a bow tie, and like a tuxedo that's blue and stuff. It looks really cool. It's a tag. Um, this says, <clears throat> Cam loves to jump in and out of boxes and build forts with his friends, Hoot and Wendy. He also enjoys going to the beach to take, to take cat naps or hanging with his friends, but is always up for an adventure. That's Cam the cat. Alright, so next, let's open, let's look at the money. I'll take this out really quickly. Alright, so the money, there's ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, a hundreds, and five hundreds, but we'll look at that later. That's the money, and they all have cam on them. Uh, put the instructions to the side, and let's open this. And this is, oh, those have gone everywhere. They turned it over. I'll look at that later, but... This is the board, so I got right here is the cards, the houses and stuff, the dice, and the tokens. Let me put that over here, and I'll show you in a second. This is the board. It opens just like this. I'll place this down right here, like that. Yeah, so that's the board. We have go. And all the other stuff, and as you can see, um, <clears throat> so as you can see, like all the properties are instead of places, they're like squishmallows, and instead of community chests and chance cards, there's like squish squad and mallow days over there, the yellow one. Um, all right, but let's show I'll show you how to set it up first, we'll go over that in more detail in a second, but first. So everybody's going to pick a character. So these are all the ones you can choose from. There is some sunglasses. that have a little sun, money sign on them. Uh, this one is my favorite. It's like a little name. It's like a bio tag. So that's Avery on it. It's really cool. Then we have ooh, Feeling Mallow. We have the cam silhouette, headphones, and then there was a rainbow, but I got another cam silhouette. All right. Um. Next, so everybody pick a character. I'm gonna play. Okay. So she's gonna be playing, as well as this bunny over here. <laughs> so they're gonna be the two characters. Mm, sure. Okay, so uh, she's going to pick the name tag, and he's going to pick the sunglasses. So let me just put this, so if everybody put them on go. What about the start? So, so yeah, because that's where you're going to start. And next, everyone gets the, this amount of money. So everyone gets five ones. Everyone gets five ones. Two, three, 
four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But I'd recommend putting the money in these little things but near the banker. But I'll do the banker. So put all the things in there. So once you gave everybody their ones. I don't like the big pile, so I just give everybody ones. I put all the ones in here. Next, everybody gets one, no. Five, two. Oh, no, one five, sorry. So everybody gets one five. Everybody gets two tens. Put the fives in here. Tens in here. Everybody gets one twenty. One fifty. Uh, four one hundreds. And last but not least, two five hundredths. One, two, one, two. Alright. So, also, before we move this away, I'm taking out the dice. I'm taking out all of these cards. We'll move this to the side. Uh, next, we're gonna pick. You're gonna put. Alright, so put five hundred in the middle, and that's gonna be like your free parking kind of area. So if you land in free parking, you get whatever's in the middle, and there's gonna be. You'll add more to it later, but so I'm just gonna put this right here. What I would do, what to do is put like this under the board, kind of like that. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, so your 500s are there, so like, if you, if there's four people, it'd be really easy, just like, everybody gets their own side of the board and stuff like that. But basically, kind of like that. I don't want to do all that. So, once you put 500 in the middle, then you put all the Squish Squad, uh, just somewhere in the middle, I'm gonna put them right here. Oh, oh, it says where it's supposed to go, okay. So the Squish Squad goes right there. And if you look, there's like a little line right there. And then the feeling mallow is right, right over here. Hmm. All right. And last but not least, pick a banker. That's going to be the one in charge of like the money and the properties. So right now I'll be the banker. And we got, mm, we got bunny over here. Right there. So... And, alright, next. So that's how to set up. Oh, um, and to know who goes first and stuff, you're, each of them are going to roll. So the bunny, you're going to roll. I got both the dice. The bunny got four. Let's see who the pink one goes. Uh, the pink one got ten. So the pink one goes first because it had the highest number. And then it just continues uh, to the left of the person. So say, there was, say Cam was playing and to the left. So then it would be bunny, then the Cam. It doesn't matter what number you get. Alright, so how to play, basically, you roll the dice on your turn, so pink's going first, pink is the name tag, I got six, seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you would do whatever is on the space, so, um, and it would just continue, so each space, so all the ones that have, like, a color block on them are properties just in the squads. So, these are all the properties, and you can just buy them for the price underneath there, and say I bought, if you land on it, you have to buy, you, you can buy it, um, and, and yeah, if somebody, so say, if you want to Rosie the pig, and she bought it, she would put, give the money to the banker, and if the bunny landed on it, then it would be, Two, then he would have to give him. If you look on the top, rent is two dollars, and if the 
pink, the pink can buy a house or, a, okay, so a squad or a collection. And a squad is whatever the squad costs that much each. So then you would do that and you would buy it and put it on there. So if the bunny lands on it, with one squad it would be 10 and then with a, four squads it would be that, a collection it would be 250. Um, and if a player owns all of the color group and all of the ones in the same color, the rent is doubled. Yeah, the rent is doubled for all of them. So, next we have, let's go places. So if you land on Mallow Days, you pick a Mallow Day card, and let's see what this one says. You do whatever it says. So, you help Marista, the cactus, promote equally for all the squads, collect 200. So then you pick up 200 and do it. Put that right there. Um, and then you can just, like, take it and put it under the pile so you know that you did it. But... Next, if you land on Squish Squad, pick up a card from here and just advance to the nearest edition. Uh, that whatever card you get it may vary, vary, but you do what that is. And if owned, and if you read the fine print, so if owned, you may buy it from the bank. If owned by other, by owner, twice the rental. If owned by somebody else, then twice the amount of money it is to pay for it. Okay, just, if you get that card, you don't have to read it, but, that's that, so, now, all the, instead of, instead of railroads, these ones, you, they're just normal properties, but they are, uh, where is it, where is it, oh, here they are, they are railroad, instead of railroads, they're, like, rare edition, ultra rare, and special edition, and select series, I don't know what that is right now, but, it's those ones, and if you look at them, if you have two of them, 50, three of them, that, and mortgage. But, over here, Sunny the Bee and Gordon the Shark, these are kind of like the electrical and water companies. That's basically what those are. So you can also buy them, just for the set amount. So, um, hmm. If you land on this, you just you go just visiting. You don't it doesn't really do anything. If you land on go to jail, then you go straight to jail. You don't collect go. Once you pass go or land on go, then you get two hundred. If you land on some of these like Lola, pay two hundred or that one, pay one hundred. Uh, then you pay it to the middle. That's like your price. Under free parking, you get all the money that's in the middle, and you have to restock it. The bank restocks to five hundred. And. That's basically it. That's all the ones. Yeah. So the game ends. So the properties. The game ends when all properties are... Okay, so there's two ways you can do it. So the quick way that I like to do it is the game ends when all properties are gone. The winner is the player with the most properties. That's like the really quick way. So it's like... it's It still takes about like an hour. But like when all the properties are gone. Or you can play the... Like, the long way which is the game ends when it's when everybody when there's one person remaining and only one player left because the rest of them have gone bankrupt or something so yeah so if you've gone bankrupt you're out of the game and the winner is the one with who hasn't gone bankrupt who's the one that's left okay so uh yeah that's basically everything so if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!